So if you remember from my last video, I said that I will be starting off this video by getting 96 summoning and I'm going to be doing it with green charms. I just had like 50,000 experience left and I decided to do the last on the green charms that I had in the bank. I do need budget pouches anyway, so I might as well just end off 96 summoning on that. So let's do that real quick and there we go. I'm going to be adding 96 summoning and well now I'm just going to be making some pack egg pouches probably going to be using them for our axor. So I did have to complete some parts of the quest I think it's called the Fremenic Isles I'm not sure or Fremenic Isles I'm not sure what it's exactly called but you need to complete parts of it to be able to get to this place which is the Isle of Natus Knot and at this place you can kill these yaks and get the yak side for the yak pouches. Now I'm not sure if you have to complete more of the quest or the entire quest to be able to open the store where you can buy these hides but I'm not really interested in doing that right now I only want like 100 pouches it lasts like ages anyway so killing them for the hides is not that big of an issue so I'm just going to be doing that for like 100 hides probably takes two minutes or something and then I'll just make some pouches I know this looks like a terrible drop, but it's actually not, because this is the third part of the Triskelion key, so I can actually get a free elite clue scroll, as well as I can get the, like, uncut dragon stones and all that. I get some extra crafting experience, nothing too great, but yeah, of course I'm going to be getting the free elite clue scroll and complete that real quick. So we're probably going to be getting some uh, herbs or something, and whoa, that's actually a really good reward, like 100 crimsons and 80 blue. You know, I could have got this a bit earlier when I was going for 96 summoning, but nonetheless, this is to row to 99, I guess. I'm not sure if we can reroll this one, but anyways, let's open it and see what we get. Well, that's pretty terrible. I mean, the planks are pretty good for construction. I'm only like 81 or something, so yeah, it's decent, but I'm going to just reroll that real quick. And well, that's even shittier. RNG, thank you. So as you guys know, I've been grinding for that Quintus Signet for a very long time now, and as I'm being very unlucky and not really getting it, I just thought, you know, I might as well just fully prepare for the Ascension Crossbow when I do get it. And for that, I need 89 Fletching to be able to boost 5 levels with Spicy Stews, to be able to make that Dragon Crossbow, which I then make with this, I don't know, is it 6 Signets, I think, into the Ascension Crossbow. So I'm going to be getting 89 Fletching now, and then also I do need to get that uh, offhand Chaotic Crossbow to match the ascension crossbow so I have something to have in the offhand instead of having like a tier 60 random ranged offhand that I can't really do anything with so um, I'm going to be forced to get 100,000 dungeoneering tokens which is about 1 million experience I think in dungeoneering if that's how it works I think that's how it works and uh, that's it's going to take a while but not too long I don't think and anyways that's 89 fletching pretty neat so now that I'm on the Dungeoneering grind, I did actually get an extended Dungeoneering challenge. I'm just going to hand that in and I'm going to be getting 89 Dungeoneering. There we go. Pretty neat. Like, it's a shit ton of experience just for free. And during all of this grinding, I'm going to be getting over 90 Dungeoneering for sure. So that's going to be very nice to have. It's a bit of a milestone that's going to be popping up in just a second, I guess. And there we go. That is 90 Dungeoneering. I've done about 15 dungeons or something. And I also did get the daily to do it. Like, it was back to back. The last clip was actually yesterday and now today I got another Dungeoneering daily so I was really lucky on that and I just finished off the last 70,000 experience by handing in this I actually got 176,000 so yes as always insane experience from that so yeah that's 90 Dungeoneering and we do unlock the Demon Horn necklace I'm not going to be buying that because it's uh, it's not actually that expensive it's like 35k but that's 350,000 Dungeoneering experience that I don't really want to focus on getting right now I want to get to 100k tokens and I currently have Let's see how many I have. I think I have like around 60,000 maybe. Yeah, 59,000 tokens and I only need 40,000 more and uh, then I can buy the offhand chaotic crossbow and then I'm pretty much set for uh, when I do get my main hand ascension crossbow. So I think this is going to be the end of the Dungeoneering. I think I'm going to be getting over 100,000 tokens after this dungeon. I almost cleared the whole dungeon, so that's pretty neat. And it's also the highest dungeon I can do, I think. And yes, I got 3.9k and that is going to be enough to have 100,000 tokens. So let's just see how many we have now. Let's see real quick. And I'm going to go and buy the crossbow. Yeah, 101,000. And I think I'm very close to 91 Dungeoneering as well. Yeah, 38,000 experience left. But anyways, let's buy the crossbow. And then all we need is that last Quintus Signet. And I have two really good ranged weapons. Oh yeah, and the necklace I was talking about earlier was this Demon Horn necklace. Now I can obviously get 35,000 tokens fairly quick. But it's not something I'm focusing on right now. So I'm just going to be buying this offhand. 
and in the near future next time I do engineering this is obviously the next item I'm going to be buying because it's it's fairly cheap as I said and it's very useful for Slayer and just doing like God War bosses or something like that where you don't really need like Kriara for example you can just bring a bone crusher have that necklace and you have pretty much unlimited prayer same with bundles so that is a really good necklace but for now I'm just going to uh, stop the engineering and uh, just look at this look at this really sexy weapon to be honest let's equip it real quick yeah, now all I need is an ascension crossbow to match that. Let's do a couple of quick Araxor kills, it is path 2 and 3, so it's the easiest one there is, and I have so much more gear now than when I did 2-3 the first time, and that's why I got new record, because that path is like the easiest one ever, and it's super super fast, so I can actually do 2 kills per trip with that path, even with apparently 1 overload, I don't need to be 2 it seems, but anyways, I'm going to be seeing what the first loot is, the first loot is some herbs, alright, I don't really need those lantodimes, I think I have like 1000 lantodimes in the bank, but nonetheless, the charms are pretty good for summoning. Alright, let's see what the second loot is going to be. Not too bad, 600k. Third loot, let's get that leg piece real quick. Never mind. Well, it's not too bad of a drop actually. That's blue charms and sardomi flasks. Pretty neat. So I actually died one time to that acidic spider. It just caught me off guard, man. I was like, oh, there's no acidic spider. Boom, man. Just got headshot from the back. And yeah, I died. So I, I don't have any sharpshooter aura time left, but I do have a couple of pheromones in the back. I think I have two actually, and uh, I might just reset if uh, if I can, because, you know, even if I have no sharpshooter, I can do the lower tier enrages. So that should be fine. I, I, I look at this. I have so much food left, I can probably do one more without the sharpshooter. So we should be good for a while. But anyways, let's see what the loot is going to be for the fourth kill. All right, Hydrix Bolt Tips. Now... Hydrix Ball Tips, I have a bunch of these in the bank and I'm not really sure what to do with them. They're I, I'm looking for like 6k I think, I'm not sure if I can examine. I guess I'll just take one and bank. Oh, I can just do that run. Uh, Alright, examine, how much do they... Yeah, 6k. So I have like 800 or something from the, of those in the bank from Raids and Araxor. I'm not sure if I should put those on Ascension Bolts when I do make them and if that's like worth more alking or, you know, I don't feel like it's worth even using those Ascendry Bolts that you get from the Hydric Bolts. So I, I'm not sure what to do with those if you guys know if I should just alk the uh, um, the tips or if I should put them on the ascension uh, bolts pretty much. Alright let's get that leg piece on the fifth kill and that is not a leg piece but it's actually a red rope so I can't really do anything with that first fragment. I think six kills is going to be enough so this is going to be the last one. I'm probably going to do more kills of a video and if I get something really cool from that maybe some onyxes or something I don't know maybe a leg piece even if I'm lucky I'm going to obviously show that. But for now, this is going to be the last kill, so let's see what we can get. That is actually summoning supplies, but it's pretty bad drop, actually. Oh my god, dude, this is the first kill of the trip, and I'm only going to be doing this one. Like, this is going to be the only clip of Araxor after the ones I just showed you guys. Alright, so the first kill of the day, when it's now path 1 and 3, so this is Spider Minions, which is the most annoying one to get, in my opinion. I get the leg piece. Holy shit! Well, thank God for that, because I really hate doing this path, and it was the one that I was having big issues getting the last leg piece of the first time. So, yeah, getting this now is really good to just have in the bank. Let's just bank that real quick. So, the one I need now is the middle path and the bottom path, and then I need the fang or the web to be able to make the bow or the weapon. I can't remember. The scythe. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but yeah, that's really neat to already have the most annoying leg piece there is. Well, I didn't even know this, but apparently I had a hard clue scroll just laying around in my bank, so that's kind of awkward. I could have got some when I was doing some PVMing earlier, but anyways, let's open it now and see what's been laying around in my bank. 39k. You know, imagine if I would have done this earlier, I would have got like three Barrows dies and the three clues that I would have done in the near future. So we missed out on that for 39k. Now, this might be the most random clip in the entire video, but I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm actually working on the Dishonor Among Thieves quest, because that enables me to do the Children of Ma quest, which is a just a pretty new quest and really cool one that unlocks creatures that drop the tier 85 range gloves, which I really want to get. So anyways, I just was doing this quest, and then I just realized how sick as the music can be in this game. Like, I always have this game on mute, so I don't really hear it, but if you ever played, like, those Nintendo 64 games, or, like, the PlayStation one games they always had these really iconic music lines which I really loved and you remember the games for and RuneScape actually turns out to have a lot of that type of music and I'm sure some of people some of you guys actually do listen to these tracks but I really never do but like listen to this I'm just going to mute myself for just a second and let you guys listen to this it's going to be like 10 seconds so don't worry
Anyways, that is the Dishonor Among Thieves quest completed and the experience you get from it is extremely minor. I now have 291 quest points overall. I didn't even know I had something called the Sliskis Mask, but whatever, I'm just going to put this in like... I better just put this in Constitution, I guess, because it's... I mean, it's, it's so small amounts of experience 1.5k it's really nothing so i'll just put it in hp it doesn't matter too much but yeah uh, now i can actually do the quest children of mob but i'm not going to do that in this video because i've been told it's a fairly long quest not too bad though but when i do complete that i will be killing those shadows i'm not sure if you can only kill them on slayer assignment or not but i've been told that on average you should get one pair of gloves per, per slayer assignment that you do on them so yes of course they are very common to get if you get like 150 kills and you should be guaranteed to get one of those gloves in that it's not very rare so even if you can cannot do them on slayer assignment i will for sure do them and try to get those gloves because they seem really good and so that is going to do it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please leave a like and i'll see you in the next one guys take care